Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing a reading for July and this is going to be a general reading so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Sagittarius, in this reading I'm going to be taking a look at past, present and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge for the month of July is the strength and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the tower in reverse. So Sagittarius, your challenge has a lot to do with the strength card. I'm really getting that you are being called to have strength in this time, um, especially if you're being confronted with some sort of situation that has been testing you. It says, I can deal with whatever comes my way. We're going to clarify and see. In the recent past, you have the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Justice, and you have the Six of Pentacles. I'm really feeling like there was some sort of situation in your life in the past that was really taking a long time to come back into balance, okay? There was something here in the past that needed to come back into balance. Um, there could have even been some sort of justice. Maybe the court system was involved here. Some of you were dealing with maybe a Libra in the past. We're going to clarify and see. In the present moment, you have the Ace of Swords, you have the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Five of Swords. So I feel like in the present moment, for many of you with the Ace of Swords here, you are receiving some sort of truth and clarity about a situation that has been very difficult to resolve. Okay, in the near future, you have the Queen of Cups, you have the Two of Wands, and you have the Knight of Wands. There's definitely some sort of... Um, need here in the near future to maybe change the direction that you're deciding to take in your life. For many of you, there could be a water sign that's coming into your life, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I do see someone here wanting to offer you love, but at the same time, you may be the one that is unsure about it, especially with the Knight of Wands, because I see you kind of um, feeling, feeling under possibly some sort of pressure here about this love situation. We're going to find out and see. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Sagittarius, you have the Tower in reverse. You have the Four of Cups in reverse. You have the King of Pentacles in reverse. The King of Cups in reverse. The Empress in reverse and the Two of Cups in reverse. There's definitely some sort of situation where you and a specific person don't see eye to eye anymore. There was definitely some sort of falling out between you and this person. Maybe some sort of relationship commitment or marriage is no longer working here. You and this person just don't see eye to eye anymore. Okay. You both are not really on the same level is what it's telling me. What I do see here is, is that after a hard um, change or situation that happens in your life, I see you possibly connecting with someone here who's open to giving you love, either giving or receiving love in some sort of capacity. We're going to clarify um, and get into your reading and see what this is all about, okay? So there's something here about something not working out, but something else comes up for you, okay? So let's get into it and let's see. So the first card I'm going to clarify for you, Sagittarius, is the strength. So the strength is clarified by the Hanged Man, the Seven of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so what I'm getting here for your challenge has a lot to do with you remaining in this place of being strong. Even though you may feel like there's deception, there's lies, there's something here about something not moving forward, okay, with a particular person and it says, I can deal with whatever comes my way. So I feel like, you know, your challenge in July may have a lot to do with things that are coming into your life that you don't really understand. You need to kind of fight through. You need to um, still remain calm and peaceful with the strength card here, but still remain the strength to go through whatever it is you're going through. Because there is some sort of challenges here that I see that are coming up for you, you know, um, that may affect that process for you, okay? So this is what I'm seeing here. Now let's clarify the recent past. I'm gonna clarify the justice in the recent past.
Okay, so the justice is clarified by the Queen of Cups. You have the Page of Wands and the Five of Wands. I feel like there was some sort of conflict here with you and a specific person. It's like for many of you, you may have wanted to have a new beginning with this person, but this person emotionally disconnected from you because of some sort of conflict. And things started to really slow down between you and this person. Um, in regards to maybe trying to bring the, the situation back into balance, it was difficult for you and this person to bring the situation back into balance is what it's telling me. Now, in the present moment, you have some sort of truth that's coming in. Now, I've been mentioning to all the signs that Neptune is going to be going retrograde. So all the illusions, that's going to be coming to an end and the truth is going to be coming out. Now, I want to clarify the Five of Swords. In the present moment there's a battle going on in the present moment between you and a specific person is what it's telling me so the five of swords is clarified by the emperor the judgment and the devil it looks like for many of you you're being called to confront some sort of situation that has been very toxic in your life um you're starting to really come to terms with something here in your life that needs to be brought back into balance okay Stability is coming into your life, Sagittarius, but it's coming into your life through some sort of conflict, some sort of disagreement between you and a specific person that you've tried to work on things with this person. Um, but through this change that's happening, clarity is coming in. It says, I am ready for a breakthrough to success. So now that you're really recognizing what the problem is here, you can now finally work on it to make it better. So let's clarify the Ace of Swords. There's some sort of truth that's coming in, okay? So the Ace of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Cups, the Strength, and the Queen of Wands. Some of you are going to be um, connecting with a fi another fire sign, Leo Sagittarius Aries. I feel like someone here is going to be making it known that they're interested in you. There's new love here. There's new love that's coming into your life is what this is telling me. Now, in the near future, I do see um, some sort of path that you're going to be choosing to take. Definitely love is coming in. There's someone coming in. We're going to find out who this person is when we clarify. But first, I want to clarify the two of wands. Okay, I focus on what I want and make it happen. So you are being called to choose a direction in your life to take. Tell me more about the two of wands. Two of Wands is clarified by the Seven of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Sun, okay? So for many of you, there is a situation here that you need to choose, okay? Either remaining in this place of keeping your options open or committing to someone. Someone here wants to commit to you in the near future because they're recognizing that in the present moment, something here is not working, okay? I don't know if this is a past situation that you're still... There's something here that you're working through, Okay, in, in July, and it's making room for something else to come into your life. And this person, whoever this person is, this Queen of Cups, they're like, are you going to accept my love or are you just going to run away from the situation? Okay, so what is the important message from this person? What is the important message from this person? This person is tired of waiting, Sagittarius, on you to make some sort of decision. We have the uh, Two of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so this is somebody who wants stability with you. This is someone who's tired of waiting and feeling stuck, um, especially if you've been very in and out of the situation. Why have you been in and out here? Tell me more about the Knight of Wands in the near future. Wow. Okay. So the Knight of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Wands, the Nine of uh, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. A lot of you in the near future are going to be coming to terms with um, the fact that you want to be on your own. Some of you want to just stay single, or you want to keep things casual when it comes to love. There's something here that you're getting over, Sagittarius, and you're making it known. Someone here is a little devastated that maybe you're not considering them um, as somebody you would marry or someone you'd be in a serious commitment with. I feel like you're working through something. I don't know why I'm getting that because a lot of you, there's, there's a connection here that didn't work out or maybe failed and you're really needing to come to terms with that. So as much as you want to you know, keep your options open and stuff like that, I'm really getting strongly that um, 
you may be choosing to completely disconnect from um, from some sort of situation, okay? And this may lead you to needing uh, Sagittarius to make some sort of decision, direction, uh, decision about a direction that you're planning on taking in the near future because you have the two of wands here. So you could either choose to remain being single or you could choose to be open to possibly um, moving forward with this person, okay, who's very much interested in you. So let's get some advice. What is the advice here for you? So the advice here is the chariot, the hangman, and the ten of swords. Your advice here is to put an end to waiting on something. Put an end to being in this place of limbo, not being sure of what it is that you should do. And start focusing on preparing yourself to move forward, okay? So Sagittarius, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.